Hey, what's up, everybody? Mystic. I am here today in Ravenwood. It is that time once again. Spring Test Realm has popped, and I can't wait to see what's going on. I think I'm going to start with these icons here, and then I'm going to run over to Gilda Burke because... I almost forgot. I have something for you. I just need another moment of your time. Okay, and that's kind of mysterious. Now what? Another moment of my time. Wizard, the Ravenwood professors tell me you're a prime candidate to learn about monstrology. Meet me in Ravenwood whenever possible. That accent, though. Woo! Wizard, your assistance is requested in the Arcanum. A situation has me vexed. Come to my office immediately. That's weird how they have us hooded like that. Hmm. All right, let's let's do Gilda first. I, I really want to find out about this monstrosity thing. I, I've I've been kind of twiddling my thumbs and tapping my toes about this since they announced it. Let's see. All right, Gilda, talk to me. Uh, can I help you? <laughs> oh yes, of course. You're the one I was told about. I'm Principal Monstrologist Gilda Burke. Thanks for coming. Headmaster Ambrose is allowing me to recruit talented and studious young wizards for an exciting new elective program, Monstrology. <laughs> I love her it's accent. It's an ancient practice from my home world, Albion, and I've come to share Monstrology throughout the spiral. So let's get started. The motto of Monstrology is Know thine enemy. <laughs> You'll learn to profile your enemy, extract their strengths, and use them to your benefit. That sounds painful. Okay, then. Keep going. I've got to say that I'm going to have to try to copy this accent. I really am. We use special monstrological extract spells to enchant damage spells, which can then capture an enemy's very essence or animus. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> an enchanted spell that deals damage will result in extraction of one animus, plus an additional animus is extracted with a defeated hit! Defeated, huh? De now pay attention here, because this is very important. To formally collect the animus you've extracted, you must win the duel. Well, of course. That makes sense. Once you've successfully collected an enemy's animus, their profile is added to your monstrology tome. So you can reference them at any time. Any time! There's much more to <laughs> monstrology than that, of course. But I find it's easier to do than to listen. Oh, right it's then. high time oh, for some right field work. Take this extract undead animus spell and use it to capture the animus of any undead enemy you'd like to profile. Well, almost any. Yeah, right there. Since you're new to monstrology, you'll want to tussle with a low-level enemy to maximize your chances of animus extraction. And but Start with the lost souls <laughs> okay. on Unicorn Way. Extract one lost soul animus, then return here and we'll wrap up your introduction to monstrology. So I found out in the process that when she says almost any, that means that you can't capture the animus of certain bosses. I, I, I checked this out earlier before this even came out. And yeah, that, that's part of what, what she's talking about, almost any. You can do most undead, but you can't do every one of them. So you'll want to check and see if you can profile them or, or collect animus from them or not. Or what you can do with the animus once you do. I really love that accent of hers. I'm going to have to work on practicing that. I think what I have to do first is, like, stuff my mouth full of a chocolate bar or something. <laughs> because, wow, that bad boy is thick. All right, let's head on over to Unicorn Way and fetch and carry a lost soul. I feel like I'm, I'm back to being a new wizard again. I remember going to the lost souls the very first time I started a wizard. And I haven't, I don't think I've been back here in ages. Come back here and click. I mean, I could probably come over here and, like, like, flick a booger at a lost soul and knock it over now, these days, but but we'll see. All right. Well, anyway, let's, let's get this done. Put the animus on there. Make sure I've got it all set up right. Okay. They gave me seven. I'll, I'll use six of them. That should be plenty enough. Yeah. I, I think so. I mean, it's, it's like one lost soul, really. I'm, I'm thinking more along the lines of not getting the card to draw when you want it to. Me here for ten minutes. You know how that random number generator is. So I think I'm just going to swap decks here. And I'll put them in. Where are they at? Get, get, all, get rid of all this stuff. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Deck setup. Essential to collecting animus. Get rid of those. Oh, there it is. It's, no, it's not in TCs. It's got, is it under myth? Maybe it's under myth. Maybe that's what it is. Da, 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 da. 
Let's try that. It's not our life. It's in our there. Yeah, there they go. There's mid. It's in our myth. There we go. All right. Now, I wonder if that means that all of these anima spells are going to be under myth. All right. Let's go ahead and do this lost soul. This guy looks like he wants to join in. Are you joining, Bob? No? Okay. Never mind. Then. He's like, oh, crap. I'm caught in the fight. Go, go, go. Pop out the easy spell. This lost soul is going to be like, what in the world? What did I just get hit with? Maybe I get the number of that truck? Now look. I don't need like, what, 50 times his life? That's not fair. All right, two animus, two experience. Let's go back to our friend Gilda and find out what is up. I'll just pop over there. You know, say some times that are running there. I don't even mind what I'm thinking about. I should just pop to my house. Let's just do that. All right, here you go, Gilda. Here's your set. Let me get out of the way. There we go. That's a little better. Were you able to extract an animus from an undead enemy? Oi? Kraken! Now it's time I show you the myriad ways monstrologists use animus. This... The monstrology tome, notwithstanding, my personal favorite application of an animus is to create a summon monster treasure card. It's like an echo of the enemy you extracted it from, which can be summoned in combat, but not unlike the way one summons a minion. You can also create an expel monster treasure card that's basically an insta-defeat, one-shot silver bullet against a particular monster. Ooh, can you? If you use the proper <laughs> lodgings, Animus can also be used to create house guests, as well as monster echoes that your friends can jewel. I am going to... And don't uh -huh. worry if your house <laughs> isn't equipped with a Joe sigil. That's what the Monster Dome is for! <laughs> now, if you've any questions, or simply feel the need for a refresher, consult the Monstromnibus here at any time. I... And remember, as your monstrology level increases, so does the amount of monstrological spells you're privy to! So, keep an eye out for me and your journeys throughout the spiral. Until then, welcome to Monstrology. Go on then, get cracking. I have to say, I'm probably gonna have to come back and watch my own video if she doesn't talk anymore. I'm gonna have to come back and watch my own video. Her, she straight cracks me up. Not only the accent, but the way, the words that she uses, <laughs> straight cracks me up. All right, let me go back for a quick review of these guys so you can, so you can see on the, uh, the Monstrobus tome here. So you can see what's going on with the pages. I'll go through another quick review of this in case. I know I flashed through them all pretty quick whenever uh, I was doing the initial thing. But then I was, taking, I was so taken by her voice, I wasn't really paying attention to how long I left those things up. <coughs> all right, go through the spell book here real quick. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, so there's nothing in my treasure cards. Like that. I think you... I, all right, what am I even doing? All right, let's go through the monster of us here real quick again. Okay, da 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 da, yada yada yada. And there we go. And go to the next page. Guys, if I'm flashing by these too quick, I'm sorry. Just pause it wherever you need to and read them yourself. I, uh,. I want to make sure that you guys get a chance to see them fully, so I'm like leaving them up there for a minute. But my idea of a minute might be different than your idea of a minute to read them. So just in case, go ahead and, put, and feel free to pause. Like I said, I'm trying to go like 10, 15 seconds a piece. That's weird how they have like a battle timer up there in the middle of all what's going on. Funny. Okay. Da, 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 da. That. They sure put a lot of information in a small space, that's for sure. All right. And I think later on I will be for certain doing more aspects of this monstrosity thing, like how to level it up and where to go to get good stuff and etc. etc. You know how these things go. But just for now, I want to make a short video, relatively short video, about the basics of the monstrology thing so you guys can see it. I know that all you guys who are up and out in the public realm 
are really itching to get a hold of this, and they will probably be the way test realm you know, usually is. It'll be two weeks before you guys get to e get to even play this, but at least that way you will be well armed and ready to go once this does hit live. You won't have to do all this exploring and figuring out and all that whatnot. All right. Let me pop into my spell book here real quick, and then I'm going to get off of this. Okay, so I'm just examining things to see what we got here for, like, other spells and how to get into the Monstrology Tome. To get into the Monstrology Tome, you click your spell book just like you normally would, and you hit T, the letter T, and it brings you to the Monstrology area. In case you're wondering how to find it in your spell book, because it took me a second there looking at this to figure out, well, wait, wait, what? And I remember what she said early on in this about hitting T to get into your monstrology area of your book. Now that you have, I'm in there, I can see the tabs up there on the sides, you know, for jewels and whatnot like that. But this is how you get into it. This is, a this is my quick introduction to monstrology, what's going on, what you need to do right off the bat before you can start leveling up monstrology and collecting all these monsters. Okay. Da, 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 da. Quick aspect. All right, guys. No, let me get off of this real quick. Change off my mount and everything. Do my outro. There we go. All right, guys. That is it. An introduction to monstrology. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, a good heart smash, and as well, subscribe and share. I'd love to see more of you around here. Until next time, this is Skeleton Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, Grimmer Skeleton Mystic? I am here today in Azteca, working on the new monstrology skill in the test realm. And I've come upon something I think is pretty interesting, and I would really love to share it with you all. My disclaimer ahead of time is that they are probably going to nerf this.